Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a very, very exciting makeup tutorial. I partner up with my new YouTube friend, Olga Hernandez, which I will go ahead and link her channel down below to create this uh, date night look to waist. I created this smoky eye with a, this very interesting inner corner and I am loving it. And she created a more romantic look as well. Go ahead and check out her channel as well. She's been such a support uh, for my makeup channel and I would love for you guys to also see what she came up with and also stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels if you haven't done so already. So let's go ahead and get started. My eyelid is already primed and set and I'm going to be picking up my Morphe 35R palette and I'm going to be picking up these two orange shades that are right next to each other and I'm going to apply this right on my crease um, going into windshield wiper motions creating the same intensity all across. Now I'm looking at this more of like a rainbow shape just kind of tugging it in also in the inner corner and then I'm going to go over top with this more sheen orange from the same palette and just overlapping it to those two shades that I applied earlier. Then I'm going to be picking up this other orangey shade. Well on camera it kind of looks orange but it's not very orange. It has a lot more brown tone to it and I'm going to be applying this right underneath keeping it very low. I'm not going to go too high up to my eyebrow. I'm just going to try to keep it low and again with the same intensity going back again with a different blending brush just to make it one even shade. I'm going to pick up this chocolate brown eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this right on the outer corner of my eye. As you can tell I'm using a tape to define this cat eye on the outer corner. It is way easier to create a, a V on the outer corner using this tape so I'm just going to be packing this on just intensifying as much as I can because I am not going to be doing any winged eyeliner. I want this to be the, the wing and then I'm going to go back and forth blending it out with fluffy brushes just to make sure everything is seamlessly. In the back of my hand I'm going to put a little bit of my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Uh, a little goes a long way but I'm going to be carving out my crease using this tiny tiny brush and I'm going to try to put the product from the bottom up just to kind of not make a whole mess for my crease. Then I'm going to be packing it on with these two gorgeous shimmers from the same uh, eyeshadow palette from Morphe, which both mix together make the perfect peachy tone. And then I'm going to be packing it on using a shader brush. It depends how intense you want the shimmers to be. But I went ahead and I went back probably about four or five times just to kind of create the intensity that I wanted. Then with a blending uh, pencil brush, I'm going to just make sure the orange didn't get lost in the transition. And then going back again with a chocolate brown to intensify the outer corner as well. Next, moving on to my face, I'm using this Smashbox Photo Primer. Uh, for my face before going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'll be back with the eyes later and I'm going to be blending this into my skin using my Beauty Blender. Next for concealer, I'm going to be using these two shades from the Shade Tape Concealer by Tarte. This one is tan and medium and I'm going to be using both of them together under my eyes and just bringing it down to my cheek and up all the way to very very close to my to my eye and then I'm going to first use my beauty blender and then I'm going to be setting it with the wet and wild contouring palette with the shade the banana shade uh, and a morphe brush and then I'm going to go back again with a tinier brush just to make sure that inner corner is not uh, creasing or anything like that I'm curling my lashes real quick before going in to my with my falsies but then uh, right before that I'm going to smoke out my lower lash using the same pencil brush and some orange shades that I use in my crease. Then using my flat definer Morphe brush and that dark brown eyeshadow I'm going to be creating this eyeliner going very very close to my lash root and then at the end right before getting to my inner tear duct I'm just going to be flicking it out and just continuing. It is very easy with this flat brush because it does all the work for you. 
You can intensify it and smoke it out as much as you like. I'm also going to be highlighting the inner corner of my eye using this shimmery champagne color and this is going to make this eyeliner pop up even more. I'm going to try to blend it as much as possible with the other peachy colors that I have going on on my crease and then going back again with the pencil brush to intensify the bottom lash. I'm using some mascara before going with some falsies and just making sure with that same uh, flat brush that I connected the darker shades of my eye, of the outer corner of my eye. Next for contour, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast and I'm going to be carving out my cheeks and applying this also by the hairline on my forehead and also my jawline. Now if you didn't know this about me, I love cream contour. I feel they are so easy to blend into your skin and I, in my opinion, I feel they look very natural. So I actually am loving this. I really like uh, this concealer as a contour. To be honest with you, I know this has been out for a long time and I'm pretty late on this, but I actually love it. I truly recommend this product if you haven't used it. So I'm just blending this out using my Beauty Blender because I find this to work a lot better, especially for my nose contour that I'm doing right now. I first went with my fingers because I want this to be more precise and then I blend it out with my Beauty Blender um, as well. Now the point here is for it not to look muddy or anything, we don't want a too orangey shade for your nose contour. Uh, so I went ahead with the Beauty Blender and actually worked really, really well. I put a little bit more concealer just to clean up everything just in case it looked any uh, muddy or dirty. Next we move on to highlight. I'm using this Ofra Rodeo Drive and I'm going to be highlighting the high points of my cheeks and kind of creating this little C um, on top of my eyebrows. I'm also going to be highlighting the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. Oh also my chin. I'm going to bronze my skin using this oversized fan brush and the other side of the contouring palette. Then I'm using this Baked Blush by NYX, which I will go ahead and link down below. And then I'm also using this Coco Collection nude color that has a peach undertone for my lips. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.